Hi and welcome to Fabric with Substance. I'm going to show you how the material parameters work for the materials in this collection. So using this example of the rough fur, I'm going to show you how to adjust all the settings for the material instance. So let's just select the material and edit it. And we'll run through all the options available to you. Top here you've got optimization. Uh, there's a performance mode, which we'll talk about in a moment. In this first section, you've got UV mapping controls. You can enable triplanar projection or use world align UVs as well as setting the UV tile offsets and scale. So let's say you've got a model that doesn't have good UVs like this one here where the UVs are all broken and distorted so you haven't had time to unwrap it. You can enable triplanar projection which projects UVs onto the model. It's a very quick and easy way of getting UVs on your model however it does come with some limitations. You'll notice on angle changes you get a hard edge. There's no uh, edge softness control in this version because it's quite a quick implementation. Um, however, you can still affect UV scale and offsets and this all still works. So this is a great way of just really quickly mapping your asset if you haven't got time or you don't have the necessity to uniquely unwrap it. Next we've got enable world align UVs. This projects down the UVs from uh, from above onto your object. So you can see here your material UVs will be stretched anywhere that's not based on this angle but this is great for the ground or any flat planar surfaces that you just want to project a uh, mapping onto from above. You've got all your regular controls for UV options here so UV tiling, you can scale your UVs, you can offset your UVs so in the X and the Y axis uh, as well as setting individual scale so if you want to squash or stretch your UVs in any direction those options are available to you here. Next we've got some uh, base color control so you can adjust the brightness of your material. Just be careful as extreme values here can take you outside of PP or safe range. You can colorize your uh, material, simple color multiply. Next you can enable fuzzy shading. Uh, this is Epic's fuzzy shading function which allows you to affect the core darkness and the edge highlight. This simulates short fibers on a, on a surface. So if I turn this off, you can see how the fuzzy shading affects this uh, material. The controls for which are here. You can also enable a fuzziness mask, which is a black and white mask, which is packed into one of the textures down here, which allows you to uh, differentiate between fuzzy materials and non-fuzzy materials. So for example, if you had plastic in here as well as uh, fur, you can enable this mask and use Painter or Designer or any authoring software to designate a black and white mask which says uh, white is fuzzy and black is non-fuzzy objects. In the normal section you've got a normal multiplier where you can tweak your normal map settings followed by roughness control where you can make the materials more smooth or more rough and finally some metallic control. Uh, enabling metal mask is a black and white map which controls which part of the material is metallic you disable the metal mask you just get a, a global metallic multiplier so you can make your material metallic. Next we've got some emissive controls so you can enable emissive here where you can set the color of your emissive as well as uh, the power fall off, the brightness and whether or not it has a Fresnel fall off effect so if you turn this off it's quite a flat emissive. Turn it on you've got uh, a fall off of the emissive towards the edges and you can control that exponent here. The next section is parallax occlusion mapping, which is a fake effect which simulates depth in your material. So if I turn that off, you can see the effect it has on the material. Use a height map to fake the depth, and you've got controls over the height ratio so you can make the effect more prominent or less. It also has controls for the number of steps. If you do a more exaggerated depth effect, you'll probably need more, more steps. As you can see here, you get separation of the materials. So if I increase the number of steps to 4 and 16 you get less separation of the uh, material. However this has a big effect on performance so be careful with these settings. Also too extreme an effect and it looks a little fake when uh, viewed on certain surfaces. Here we have subsurface color control so you can control the um, amount of subsurface scattering happening, so reducing this SS amount reduces the amount of light that's passing through your material. You can also control the influence of the subsurface scattering mask. 
So if I increase that, uh, you can see the mask is really occluding the subsurface scattering. And if I reduce it, this is just the subsurface light passing straight through the material. You can see here the mask has a great effect on the subsurface scattering. The subsurface color section controls the color of the light which passes through. So if I change that to blue, you'll see that the light as it passes through the material changes to blue. This subsurface color greatly affects the material, so setting the right color in your subsurface color is important to getting a correct match between the base color and the light that passes through your material. Next is ambient occlusion, which is ambient occlusion on the material itself using a mask. If I disable that, you can see in the shadowed areas the ambient occlusion has the effect of masking the indirect light and the reflections. You've also got a controller for how much of an influence this map has on your material. The opacity section here is for use when you change the material blend mode to masked or translucent. So if I come down here to the material property overrides and change the blend mode to masked, you can see now uh, my fabric has been masked. This opacity multiplier here helps control the opacity mask, so you can increase the multiplier now you've got a better control over how the opacity mask is being used finally down the bottom here we've got all of our texture maps which have been used in this material the standard setup uses four textures base color normal srm which stands for subsurface scattering roughness metallic and ahf which stands for ambient occlusion height and fuzziness mask all of these maps are needed to get the final result from the fabric material However, you can optimize this setup if performance is an issue by removing the AHF map. To do this, go to the top of the material instance, performance mode, and activate it. What this does, you'll see it's removed one of the texture maps, and you can see you've lost AO, height map, and fuzziness mask. So we no longer have parallax occlusion mapping. However, the material still looks great, and this is ideal if you don't need to do any fabric blending so you don't need to for example blend this fur with a metallic gold or any plastic and it's a more optimal version of the shader there's less texture samples and there's less instructions so this is ideal if you don't really see much of a difference you can enable this performance mode with this uh, rough fur you can see that we lose our parallax occlusion mapping and our ambient occlusion. However, this end result still might be fine for you if performance is an issue. Thanks for purchasing fabric with substance. I hope you really enjoy the pack.